Hello everyone. The title of this video is Determine Whether an Ordered Pair is a Solution of a System of Equations. So in this video uh, we're going to be going over several examples where we're given a system of two equations involving the variables x and y and then we're going to be giving, given ordered pairs points on the coordinate plane and asked, you know, is that ordered pair a solution to the system or not? And I'll talk about also what it means for an ordered pair to be a solution of a system of equations. All right, so all these exercises I'm going to do in this video are taken from a free online textbook uh, at openstacks.org. This book is their Intermediate Algebra 2nd Edition. And I'm looking in exercises from section 4.1 titled Solve Systems of Linear Equations with Two Variables. All right, so the, the exercises I'm doing in this video are number exercises 1 through 4, parts A and B for each. So example 1 will correspond to problem 1, example 2 to problem 2, example 3 to 3, and 4 to 4. Um, and I'll have time stamps for when each example begins in the description of the video if you'd like to just skip ahead and you know look at a particular exercise. Also, I would recommend, if you're trying to learn this stuff, you know, trying to do, uh, get good on your own, when I start an example in the video, pause the video and try to work on, you know, figuring out the problem for yourself. And then watch me do it and compare your work with my work and see how you did or see if any improvements could be made. All right, so I'm just going to get started here pull up a piece of paper and I've written out exercises one through four here. Now example one, right, we're asked to you know determine, and in all the exercises in this video, we're asked to determine if the given points or the given ordered pairs are solutions of the given system of equations. Now a solution of a system of equations. Uh, a system of equations is multiple equations considered together. All right, so uh, in each of these examples we're going to see a system of two equations with two variables, variables x and y. A solution of a system is any ordered pair in the case when you have two variables. Any ordered pair, and remember how ordered pairs look, they're you know, parentheses, then you have some x value, comma, some y value, that satisfies every equation in the system. every equation. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I plug in the value for x, that's in the ordered pair. I plug in the value for y, that's in the ordered pair. And I see if, you know, all the equations are true statements. All right. And again, it's got to be every equation that's made true, not just one or, you know, just two. If there are four equations, all four have to be true. So, my first example, I have this, and usually a system is marked by a, a set of curly braces, letting you know that all these equations are considered together. And the first equation here is 2x minus 6y equals 0. Second equation, 3x minus 4y equals 5. And there's a part A and a part B. Now, part A, we're asked, you know, is the ordered pair, is the point 
3 comma 1 a solution to this system. And so as I said earlier out loud, you know, we're going to take 3, right? That's the x value replace replace x with 3s everywhere you see x. And then this value of 1, right? That's the y coordinate or the y value of the ordered pair. I'm going to replace all the y's in the system with the number 1. And if it's a solution to the system, both equations will be true. If it's not a solution, then at least one of these will be false. All right. And if any of them is false, the point is not a solution. All right, so I'll start with the first equation. So instead of 2 times x, I'm going 2 times 3, right, the x-coordinate of this point, minus and 6 times y, and now the y-coordinate of this point is 1. And then we have equals 0. And let's see if this is true. Simplifying the left side, I have 6 minus 6 is 0. You definitely get 0 equals 0 which is true, so I'm going to put a little check mark next to that. Now that doesn't mean that this is a solution of the system yet. All, right. all this means is that the ordered pair 3, 1 is a solution of the first equation. It makes the first equation true. But in order to be considered a solution of the entire system, it also needs to make the second equation true. So let me write that. It was the second equation. Again, replacing x with 3 and y with 1. So we have 3 times x, or 3 times 3, minus 4 times y, or 4 times 1. Is that equal to 5? Well, 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 1 is 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. We have 5 equals 5, which is a true statement. So, this ordered pair, 3 comma 1 here, it satisfies every equation in the system. Therefore, a little arrow here, the ordered pair 3 comma 1 is a solution of the system. Wonderful. Alright, All right, so that was part A, the ordered pair 3, 1. Let's go to part B. We're given another ordered pair to check. And it's really just as simple as that. It's plugging in and checking. So is the ordered pair negative 3, comma 4 a solution to this same system? So I plug in negative 3 for the x, x's, plug in 4 for the y's. So again, first equation. 2 times the x-coordinate, right, negative 3, minus 6 times the y-coordinate, which is 4. Is that equal to 0? Well, this is negative 6 minus 24. That would be negative 30 on the left side after simplifying. And is negative 30 equal to 0? Oh no, that, this is a false statement. So I'll put a big like x next to this. Uh, and I can stop here. Right? I can stop here. I can tell you immediately now that this ordered pair, negative 3 comma 4, this ordered pair is not a solution of the system. Because again, in order to be a solution of a system, you have to satisfy every equation in that system. Make all the equations true. So as soon as you find one equation that's made false, that ordered pair is not a solution. Right? So therefore, the ordered pair negative 3 comma 4 is not a solution of this system. I don't even need to check the other equation. Right. As soon as you find one equation that's made false, it's not a solution to the system. 
but in order to show that something is a solution of a system, right, you have to go through all of them, show that all are true. I hope that's clear. Okay, and this is really all I'm doing for all these exercises. All right, example two, same instructions. We're asked to determine if the given points in part A and part B, you know, we're asked to determine if those ordered pairs, those points, are solutions of the given system of equations. So the equations are negative 3x plus y equals 8, and negative x plus 2y equals negative 9. Part A, I'm checking the ordered pair negative 5 comma negative 7. So I'm going to replace x's with negative 5 and y's with negative 7. Alright, so first equation. I'll just write first equation. You know, usually, the, very often, equation is abbreviated EQ apostrophe N for some reason. Alright, so we have negative 3 times the x coordinate, right? So times negative 5 plus the y coordinate, right? Plus negative 7 equals 8. And you know, is this true? Well, the left side, negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15, and 15 plus negative 7 is indeed 8. And it'd be the same as 15 minus 7. So we have 8 equals 8. That is a true statement. All right, so this ordered pair is a solution of the first equation. But in order to be a solution of the system, it also needs to be a solution of the second equation. So now let me check the second equation. So I have the negative 1 times x, or negative 1 times the x coordinate of negative 5, plus 2 times the y coordinate, 2 times negative 7. And uh, is this equal to negative 9? Well, let's see. The opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. 5 plus negative 14 is negative 9. All right, 5 minus 14. So we do have negative 9 equals negative 9, another true statement. And therefore, <clears throat> this ordered pair is a solution of this system. It does satisfy all the equations in the system. So I will write this. The ordered pair negative 5, negative 7 is a solution of the system. Great. Now part B, same system, okay, same set of equations here. I'm replacing x with negative 5 and the y's with positive 7. All right, so let's start with the first equation. Negative 3 times negative 5, right, negative 3 times the x-coordinate, plus the y-coordinate is now just 7, right, not negative 7. And is this equal to 8? Let's see, the left side, negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15, plus 7 would be 22. So I get this statement here, 22 equals 8. That is false. 22 is not equal to 8. So I'll put a big X. And again, once you find a false statement, you know, once you find an equation in the system, that the ordered pair is not a solution of, you can vary, then you can just say, well, then this ordered pair is not a solution of the system. So negative 5, 7 is not a solution of the system. And it's really as simple as this. Right? It's, just, it's just a bunch of plugging in and checking to see if we have true statements or not. Okay.
Next exercise, next example, example three, same, same stuff, all right? Only now some fractions are showing up. No big deal, you're doing the same stuff. So the equations in this system, x plus y equals 2, y equals 3 fourths times x. All right, so the first ordered pair I'm checking, the x coordinate is 8 sevenths, the y coordinate is 6 sevenths. All right, so in the first equation, and this time I'll just put first, all right. Uh, x is, you know, 8 sevenths plus y is 6 sevenths. You know, is this equal to 2? Well, when you're adding fractions, remember adding or subtracting fractions, you need a common denominator, which these have, 7. So this is you know, going to be over 7, and then you add the numerators. 8 plus 6 is 14. You know, it, is 14 sevenths the same as 2? Yes, you got 2 equals 2, right? 14 divided by 7 is indeed 2. So the first equation is true. The first equation is satisfied by this ordered pair. All right, so the ordered pair is a solution of the first equation, but in order to be a solution of the entire system, it also would need to satisfy the other equations, right? And the only other equation is that second equation. So is 6 sevenths, right, the y coordinate, so 6 sevenths, is that equal to 3 fourths times the x coordinate, 8 sevenths? All right, and then the right side you can simplify a bit. You know, the denominator has a factor of 4, numerator has 8, 4 goes into 8 twice, and you're left with 3 times 2 over 1 times 7. Uh, that is indeed 6 sevenths. You have 6 sevenths equals 6 sevenths. Another true statement. So, and you know, this, this seems to be happening for every single part A so far. Um, but, you know, just, just be aware that it's not always going to be happening for whatever part A is of, of problems you're looking at. Uh, but it looks like the, the ordered pair 8 sevenths for x, 6 sevenths for y is a solution of the system. It does satisfy both all the equations in the system. So it is a solution of the system. Great. Right, and the same thing here. I'm doing the same check. All right, same same system, just a different ordered pair that we're checking. When x is 1 and y is 3 fourths. So first equation, x, which is 1, plus y, which is 3 fourths. Is this equal to 2? Well, no. This is 1 and 3 fourths, right? One, that's 4 fourths plus 3 fourths, that's 7 fourths. 1 and 3 fourths, 1.75, whatever you want. Is that equal to 2? No way. All right. This is a, a false statement. Uh, I'm going to check them up, I put an X. False statement. So this ordered pair can't possibly satisfy all the equations because it doesn't satisfy the first one. So I can stop and say that 1 comma 3 fourths is not a solution. All right, now again, so far examples 1, 2, and 3 have all ended up pretty the, pretty much the same way, where part A was a solution and part B was, you know, didn't even satisfy the first equation. You, know, you might come across a point that satisfies the first equation, but you know not the second one. Again, as long as one of the equations is false, the ordered pair you're looking at is not a solution of the system. All right, and then my final example, same, same instructions, right? I'm just asked to determine if the given point or the given ordered pairs are solutions of the system. 
So the equations here are 2x plus 3y equals 6, and the other one is y equals 2 thirds times x plus 2. All right, the first ordered pair I'm checking, the x coordinate is negative 6, the y coordinate is positive 2. All right, so in the first equation, we have 2 times the x coordinate, right? 2 times negative 6 plus 3 times the y coordinate, right? 3 times positive 2. Uh, is this equal to positive 6? Well, let's see, simplifying the left side, you know, 2 times negative 6 is negative 12 plus 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6. And I get this statement. Negative 6 equals 6. That is false. So this one was a quick one. Right, right away I can see that this ordered pair is not going to be a solution of the system, right? Because it is it's definitely not satisfying both equations. So the ordered pair that we were given is not a solution of the system. Okay. And then part B, same thing. I um, got this system, and I'm asking if this is this ordered pair is a solution, where x is negative three, and y is four. All right. So I plug in. You know, first, so for, again, first equation: when two times the x coordinate, right? Two times negative three, plus three times the y coordinate, right? Three times four. Is this equal to six? Well, negative 6 plus 12, that is 6. We have 6 equals 6, which is true. And again, I'm not done, right? Sure, this ordered pair is a solution of the first equation, but you know, if that, uh, we have to check the second equation as well. It has to be an, it has to be a, it has to solve both equations, all the equations to be considered a solution of the system. So now I'm going down to the others oh, right second for the second equation. We have y on the left, so it's four on the left equals two thirds times the x coordinate, which is negative three, and then plus two and plus two. All right, and left side's just four. Now the right side. You know, 3 goes into 3 once. So this is basically just negative 2, right? Positive times negative is negative. So I have negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. I end up with 4 equals 0, which is a false statement. 4 is not equal to 0. So again, as long as one, as soon as you find a false statement, that means that that ordered pair is not a solution. Of the system. Now, one thing I want to say here. This wasn't a solution, right? The ordered pair negative 6, 2. This wasn't a solution either. You know, just because these two aren't solutions doesn't mean that you can't find one. All right. Now the point of this video is just to plug in and check if an ordered pair is a solution of a system. So in a future video, uh, you're going to see how I go. How would I go about finding a solution to a system if it has any? Because right, sometimes solution, you know, sometimes a system has no solutions. Uh, I'll tell you right now, this system does have a solution. It's just not one of these two. All right? It's it's some other ordered pair. Right. But again, that's for another video. How do how would I find such a solution? All right. Great. 
Alright, so hopefully watching me go over these four examples with these parts A and B each help you, you know, when you're working on similar problems. And thank you very much for watching.